This morning, we are decking the halls, but it doesn't have to break the bank. So Catherine Sneerly, creator of the blog and YouTube channel, Do It on a Dime, joins us now from her home in North Carolina with some dollar store decor ideas to help you turn your home into a winter wonderland. Good morning. It's great to have you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And you do not even have to be crafty to do these DIYs. Well, that's perfect because we definitely fit into that category. <laughs> so everything you're showing us today is inspired by sweet treats. So let's start with these giant lollipops here. How do we make these? This is one of my favorites. So go to the dollar store and get a giant clear platter. You're also going to want to grab a pretty bow some tablecloths, you're gonna need some heavy duty tape. And if you are facing some of those freezing temperatures, don't forget to grab a solar stake light and a zip tie. So the dollar store sells broom handles and use that tape to attach your plate right to it. And then you're gonna grab those tablecloths. And what I love about these is they're plastic. So this is gonna be all weather. Take a zip tie, pull it tight. Grab your bow, add it right to the front. I don't know about you, but I think this is channeling my inner Grinch after his heart grows. Yes, that's right. Yes, the, the reformed Grinch, of course. Yeah. Thank yeah, I also you. I don't think Wade that's tied it. that bow himself. No, I did not tie this myself. <laughs> but, uh, Next up, we have some giant candies that you say can make a really big statement. If you have 30 seconds, you can make this DIY. Grab some paper lanterns from the Dollar Tree, and they also sell fairy lights. I love to get these in fun colors. Assemble your lantern by just sticking these right inside. Take some cellophane paper and some ribbon, and you can tie this right around the edges. And oh my goodness, this makes the cutest centerpiece. You can see how they look here, and you assembled it so quickly. Uh, I think she assembled it, so it too quickly. quickly. <laughs> or just a little bit. I'm just struggling no with my yeah. light. <laughs> but you did really, really great. Good job, Eva. Okay, and so moving on, you have something a little more pricey, but still around $20. So big, large candy items are so trendy right now in stores. And if you're wondering what do I do with those, run to the dollar store and grab some trellises. Usually these come two to a pack and you can zip tie them together. And maybe in your garage you have some garland you aren't using. Grab a couple of these. And again, I love using zip ties this season. Attach this to your trellis using zip ties. I usually do two or three of these, and I use these to flank my door outside. Ooh. You can stick some candy inside, and again, just attach with zip ties. The dollar store sells these. This is so fun to decorate with, especially for the kids. I totally did Google yesterday DIY holiday decor, so I'm really glad that you are here with us. Awesome. All right. We do get, have to get to the hot cocoa bar over there on this side of the table because we've been staring at this all morning. Tell us about it. How does this come together? I love putting these together, and they are so simple. Go to the dollar store or just your grocery store. Get some candy, and this is a great way to add a blast of flavor to your hot cocoa. Melt some chocolate, dip a spoon inside, add some marshmallows, some sprinkles. My kids probably indulge way too much in this, but this season, I'm fine with that. Eva, too. <laughs> there might That's be a little overindulging going on here, too. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, of okay. course, Catherine. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.